Mina, pass the ball. Here it comes. Hey, Mina. Did you know you just used a force? Baba! We were playing in the garden and Big Brother just told us about the push and pull forces. Can you please give me some examples of push and pull? Hey, Mina! You were playing with your toy car, but did you know how friction works? Friction? What's that? Dua, what's this gadget on the table? This is a spring balance. It measures force in newtons. Newtons? Like big newton cookies? Hello kids! I'm Captain AHS. Welcome to a world of action! In today's video, we'll explore the powerful forces of push and pull. Ever wondered how a toy car moves or how you open a door? Let's find out how these simple forces make things happen. Here it comes! Hey Mina, did you know you just used a force? A force? What's that? A force is a push or a pull. Like when you kick the ball with your foot. Forces can make things move, stop, or even change directions. When you kick the ball, you use a push force. If that was the push force, then what's the pull force? A pull force is a force which brings objects closer to you. Always remember, a push moves things away, and a pull brings them closer. Baba! We were playing in the garden and Big Brother just told us about the push and pull forces. Can you please give me some examples of push and pull? All right. First, let's talk about a push. A push is when you apply force to move something away from you. Like when you press a button of a TV remote, you're applying a push to make it work. Oh, I do that all the time when I change the channels. That's right. Another example of pushing is when you move a stroller forward. You're applying a force to push it ahead. Like when people move a baby stroller forward by applying force. Exactly, sorrow. Now, let's talk about a pull. A pull is when you apply force to bring something closer to you. Like when you're tugging the rope toward yourself, you're using force to pull it closer. So, every time we play tug of war, we're pulling? Exactly, Mina. Tug of war is a perfect example of pulling. And here's another one, when you want to open a drawer to get something. Pulling a drawer is another example of using force to bring something closer to you. Baba, I do that all the time when I get my pencils from my desk. Hey Mina! You were playing with your toy car, but did you know how friction works? Friction? What's that? Friction is a force that slows things down when two surfaces rub against each other. For example, if you race two toy cars, the one running on smooth surface will win. That's because the smooth surface has less friction. The other car on rough surface loses the race because the rough surface creates more friction, which slows the car down. So friction is useful when we want to stop things, like brakes on a bike? Exactly! You got it! Friction helps us control motion. Dua, what's this gadget on the table? This is a spring balance. It measures force in newtons. Newtons? Like big newton cookies? Not quite, sorrow. 
newtons are the unit we use to measure force. Let me tell you about the three laws of Newton. Newton had laws? Yes. He discovered how forces and motion work. One of his laws says that things stay still or keep moving unless a force changes them. Like a toy car, it wouldn't move unless we pushed or pulled it. His second law was, the heavier the object, the more force is needed to make it accelerate. For example, when you push a heavy box, it moves slower than a lighter box. This happens because the heavier the object, the more force you need to make it accelerate, move faster. Now for the third law, action and reaction. It says that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. For example, when you kick a soccer ball, your foot applies a force to the ball, the action, and the ball pushes back on your foot with an equal force, the reaction. That's why you feel a force on your foot when you kick the ball, and the ball moves away. Wow, that's great! Newton's laws of force are fantastic! Now it's the time for quiz! Are you ready for a fun quiz to test what you've learned about forces? Let's see if you've got what it takes! It's quiz time! What is a force? A. A push or pull B. A kind of motion C. A shape change The correct answer is A. A push or pull Forces are all around us, making things move or stay still What does a spring balance measure? A. Weight B. Speed C. Force The correct answer is C. Force A spring balance measures how much force is acting on an object What happens when two forces are balanced? A. Object moves faster B. Object stays still C. Object changes direction The correct answer is B. Object stays still Balanced forces mean no movement Which of the following refers to friction? A. Slowing down B. Speeding up C. Making object heavier The correct answer is A. Slowing down Friction resists motion, slowing things down What does Newton's third law say? A. Stay still B. Equal and opposite reaction C. Less force The correct answer is B. Equal and opposite for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Next time, we'll explore pushing and pulling actions in everyday activities, like how we push a shopping cart or pull a sled through the snow. Get ready to discover how these forces help us move things around in all kinds of ways. Don't miss out on more free, interactive lessons. Hit subscribe and join us on the journey to education without boundaries.